What up you guys? We are here for our weekly manifestation oracle message. Hope you're doing well. We're just taking a look to see how we need to direct our focus and energy in our manifestations over the next week. Let's see, we've got accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So many times that we pray for like our angels to help or God to intervene or to give us guidance. And then like the domino tips and the dominoes start going over and things start happening and things start moving and grooving and shifting. But we don't realize that it's the universe trying to answer our prayer. We're just like, oh my gosh, things are going on that I don't like understand and I'm not, I don't have clarity about this. So I don't, I don't have any certainty. Like I don't understand what's going on. And so then we try to start like white knuckling the situation to try to keep it together and try to control how, how, how things are unfolding and try to stop the things that are shifting and changing. And what we don't realize is that the things that are shifting are shifting on our behalf in order to like lead us towards the resolution of our prayer. And so we kind of get in our own way sometimes. So sometimes the most helpful thing we can do for the universe is to like literally let take our hands off the wheel, let Jesus take the wheel kind of thing. So if you have some surprise uh, shifts and turns or detours, just trust that the universe is sending you detours that are moving you into the right direction. So accept heaven's help. Um, you know, and then this goes for people too. If people are trying to lend you a hand, even if it's not related to your inquiry, generally just being receptive to the universe and accepting people's help when they try to give you help and, you know, accepting compliments, accepting, like if someone's giving you advice, you don't have to turn it away. You can just say like, okay, I'll take that into consideration. You don't have to do anything with it. You don't have to agree. You can be like, this is the worst. I didn't ask you. Go shove it. <laughs> don't say that. Just be like, oh, that's great. I'll take that into consideration. Because when you're receptive, the universe uh, keeps wanting to give to you. But if you close off your vessel and you like push away help and you push away people's, um, you know, assistance, and you push away the, you know, the universe trying to give to you, then you're just closing your vessel, generally speaking. So you're not open to receive even when you want to receive. Ooh, you're being helped. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this. Accept heaven's help. You're being helped. <laughs> so it's literally, they're like, we're trying to help you. <laughs> take our hand. You're like, I don't want to let go. They're like, take our hand. You're like, no. Ah! They're like, we can't rescue you if you don't take our hand. And we're like, no, we're trying to help you. So the universe is literally like, accept heaven's help. We are trying to help you. You're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. Do you remember last week we had the message of consult an expert? So did you happen to stumble upon any expert advice last week? or maybe like a little detail that you hadn't thought of, right? So maybe you missed it. Cause I'm thinking back now and I'm like, did I ever get my expert help this week? Did I know, did I consult an expert? Did I even know exactly what I needed to consult an expert about, right? And so the universe might be saying like, hey, we've got help for you, but you're not really like, it's not clicking. You're not realizing it. You're not seeing it. You're not like, open to receiving like like game face get your game face on get in game stance um active player mode but there's something that we're missing or there's something that we're being reassured about is actually for us and is helping us and not to resist it or not to try to like reorganize it or fix it or anything like that something's happening so that um it can lead us in the direction we we're wanting to go very interesting. Ooh, let's see. Oh, divine magic. Oh my goodness. Extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Oh, lottie lottie. So you know what else? When we can expect miracles, we can also expect the opponent. 
Providence gonna show up and like try to still that miracle juice. So I like to like use my lamp back here as an illustration. See the light that's gathering around me here? When we're about to receive a miracle, our surrounding light, it's this light of the miracle that wants to come through starts to gather around us. And this is like the light of the creator up here. This is creation energy. And so it we it's behooves us to be op an open vessel, be in receptive mode, be in receiving, right? So this is like sugar to, you know, the, the opposing force. It's like ants to sugar. And so the negative side sees that when we have this this accumulation of the light above us that's about to bring in that manifestation or a blessing, then that opposing force wants us to spill out that light. And in order to get us to do that, it the the opposing force will tempt us into temptation or reactive behavior, maybe um, impulsive behavior, something that causes us to do a negative action or create chaos that spills out the light that's about to bless us. So, okay, think right now. Don't do anything. Put your phone down. Don't touch anything. Don't go anywhere. Don't look at anyone. Don't say anything. <laughs> think about this. Have you been tempted into an old, like, baiting, like, bad habit or mistake or someone that you shouldn't be engaging with or, like, um, had, did you start a good behavior and now you're, like, backsliding? Like, what is it that might be tempting you to sort of do a negative action or not maintain this like positive new momentum, right? Whatever it is, it might feel like, you know, when you're just like starving and there's something very unappetizing and really not good for you. And it's probably been sitting out. It's not even warm, but you're just like, I'm starving. I will eat anything, right? <laughs> you're just like, Rah. and you're like, I could wait, save the calories, save my appetite for when I get home for some like hot homemade food but no you're like I'm gonna have this stale thing that no one wanted and is left been left in the office pantry or whatever it is you know what I mean like you know you're like oh this snack bar that's been in my car melted for six months in the package is <laughs> all been beat up you're like I'm just gonna eat this that is what it feels like right now it's like something really lame or something small or something that you're just like don't fall for this now. We are so close, right? So just hold on, hold tight. Don't slip. Don't uh, blow a fuse. Don't, uh, don't slip up and have a short circuit. Waves of prosperity. Oh my goodness. New abundance and exciting opportunities are washing over you now. So something is coming, some big opportunity is around the corner. We're being helped, like accept heaven's help, get out of the way. So stop being controlling, stop uh, trying to like control every detail, stop trying to hold on to things that are done, stop trying to force things that aren't going, just like get out of the way. Don't even, you know when people plan a vacation down to like the moment to moment, every single thing, who's making what meal on what day, and then there's just like no spontaneity left. Okay, don't do that right now. Don't be super type A, micromanage the universe. Just get out of the way, chill, keep doing what you're doing, but like relax. Something is coming to help us. Accept the help. You're, this is the help that's coming to us. It's leading us th like towards divine prosperity. Expect divine magic. Like expect the miracles. Like, oh, thank you. Come in. Yes, I needed your help. I've been expecting you. Thank you. I called you and hired you to help me. Like expect the help that's coming. Expect the miracle to come through. Be ready to receive it. Don't second guess it, right? Know that it's coming from the creator. It's going to bring prosperity and abundance and fulfillment. And let's get one more card. I mean, this is this is exciting. I mean, I love this. 
What else do we have here? I'm gonna throw a fit if it's soulmate. <laughs> Make a wish! This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. I mean, it, like not every card in this deck is like, make a wish, you're being helped, right? There's other cards, we've gotten them before. So this is very, like we're beating a dead horse at this point. So you guys make a wish. Divine magic is in the air. Take advantage of this moment, right? You're being helped. Heaven is coming to help you, so keep declaring your gratitude for this miracle that you know is about to happen that's coming through. Keep saying your prayers out loud to the Creator. Keep drawing this in. Keep speaking life into your life. Keep speaking blessings into your life. In the meantime, rest assured that Heaven is helping and that you're being helped and you're being sent helpers and you're being sent resources and you're being sent solutions. So accept heaven's help. Be open. Be receptive. Don't be like, don't let your reflex to, to be like, oh, no, I'm okay. That's fine. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, don't make a fuss, right? Something like heaven is trying to send you help and that comes through the people. So don't be um, so quick to turn help away. Don't be, don't deny gifts or uh, meetings or opportunities right now. Like, just be aware that heaven is going to be helping you, but you're not gonna know it. It's gonna sneak up on you and you're gonna be surprised. So you're not exactly going to expect and know exactly how it's, the help is showing up, but your miracle is coming and it might be coming in a series of events. So, ooh, like I'm excited. I feel like it's gonna be a domino effect. Just like we started, the, we started this conversation talking about dominoes. And we're going to finish it talking about dominoes. I think they about to go off, y'all. I'm excited. Yay. All right. Well, let me know in the comments uh, what, what plays out for you guys. What's going on? Like, what's coming through? What's changing? What's, uh, what's shifting? How, what kind of help are you receiving? All right. Amazing. Well, you guys, speaking of manifestations coming through, I'm excited. I'm almost to the thousand subscribers for this channel, y'all. I'm so excited. So thank you. If you're a subscriber, like you have no idea how much each subscription of every person has meant to me. And I, I mean, it's taken every bit of three years to get to these thousand. So I'm super excited to hit that, uh, that landmark. In order to monetize the channel, I need to get up to 4,000 watch hours in a 365-day period. And that chunk slides, right? So it's not accumulative. So I am, I usually average about 1,000 hours. So I need to three times that. <laughs> and you guys, I need your help to do that. So yeah, watch some of my other videos. Check out the Secret Teachings of Jesus playlist. That is an evergreen um, list. It's not like these readings. Um, although the readings aren't necessarily like time sensitive. I think that if you see one that stands out to you at any given time, there could be a message for you. Like God doesn't, it is not limited by time and space. So uh, that, that works out many times in synchronicity. Um, and then I've got a, a playlist of just random subjects that I have done videos on, um, the vlog list, just about you know the spiritual stuff that uh, we don't get to talk about on a daily basis. Also, somebody asked me recently to do a video on synchronicities. So I, I do want to do that it's coming up soon, as soon as I can. Um, it's, it's a busy... Uh, another week here, but when we get into November, maybe I will have some extra time to do some um, some kind of like uh, other videos like that. And you guys leave me comments. Um, you know, anytime you have something you'd like to hear me talk about or if you're interested in, just let me know. Any questions, you know, anything y'all need specific help with or anything that we need to focus on, just let me know. All right, ciao. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, then please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on notifications to be notified of when I drop content. 
like the videos, comment, share them. Anything that you do helps these messages get out to other people who need them. So you watching a video and taking an action on it actually makes a positive difference in someone else's life.